EA Sports. It's in the game. What's up, Madden NFL 12 fans? Z Farrells here from PrimaMadden.com. Today we're taking a look at the San Francisco 49ers and the Pittsburgh Steelers, two 3-4 defenses that have had great success this season by confusing their opponents and forcing turnovers. Let's look at the personnel and the schemes these teams have used to go atop their divisions. With only three down linemen, the ends in a 3-4 must be very strong. Ray McDonald and then either Ziggy Hood or Aaron Smith for the Steelers get the job done. Smith is out for the season, but his 12 years of experience in this system make him ideal for the position. At the right end, Justin Smith is making a name for himself as one of the best in the NFL. 98 overall, 93 strength. And Brett Kiesel, the beard, also has 90 strength on the other side. The 3-4 nose tackle must be strong and eat up space. You think of guys like Vince Wilfork, Haloe Nada, BJ Raji, and Casey Hampton. Let's take a look at the Niners linebackers. Rookie Alden Smith, 96 acceleration, 82 speed, a sack machine. While Brooks can't match the speed, his hit power is higher than Alden Smith's, and of course, 95 power move is incredible. Now, in the middle, nobody does it better than Patrick Willis. 90 speed, 96 acceleration, except for Navarro Bowman this season. He's leading the team in tackles and a guy you want on the field for every snap. Now, they have five great linebackers, so in man-to-man -man coverage, our right outside linebacker is going to be Harrelson. However, in zone coverage, we're going to go with Alden Smith and Ahmad Brooks. As you can see, their ratings play a little bit better. Don't forget about Tavares Gooden as well. He's the third middle linebacker, but he has great zone coverage rating and great speed. The Steelers' rush starts at outside linebacker with Lamar Woodley, 83 speed, 91 acceleration. He's on the opposite side of James Harrison. Teams must respect the edge from both sides in their pass protection schemes. 97 pursuit, a beast. Now, in the middle, you have the veteran James Farrier to go along with Lawrence Timmons. Timmons, the more athletic of the two, but Farrier just does it all in the middle of the field with that 90 hit power. Speaking of hit power, James Harrison off the right edge, 100 hit power, 85 speed, 88 strength, a guy you want to rush on every play. Despite missing some games this year, he already has eight sacks. Which team-specific book is better? Well, both teams have the odd, the over, the under, the even, and the solid, so I wouldn't worry. Both are going to give you the ability to quickly make blitzes and drop people back into coverage at your every command. Here we're going to start out with the Steelers and their vaunted zone blitz scheme. Come out in the nickel, 245, cover four. By using coverage and then press left on the D-pad to show blitz, we bring all of our defenders up towards the line of scrimmage. They must respect that we could be bringing the blitz up the middle. However, we still are only rushing three guys. Drop back into coverage. James Ferry, the veteran, in a hook zone, undercuts the throw and gets the interception. As you can see here, Ferrier was up at the line of scrimmage at the snap. He dropped back, got underneath Vernon Davis's route, and got the interception. Awesome job here by the veteran, and that awareness is really going to help you with this defense. We can't just rush three all game. That would be a waste of those awesome linebackers off the edge. So we're going to show blitz again, and then pressing R1 or RB on Xbox. With the strategy pad quick links turned on, we can use the right stick to the right or the right stick to the left to quickly blitz either outside linebacker. Here, the offense is worried about the blitz coming from the right, so they slide protect. James Harrison's going to come in free off the backside and knock Alex Smith to the ground for the sack. Now here we're going to set up a blitz from the opposite side. We're going to use the show blitz command to get Woodley lined up in that outside linebacker position. We can quickly make him blitz with the linebacker global blitz command, right stick to the right. We're going to bring down Lawrence Timmons into the box next to James Harrison. This should force the offense to slide protect left. They've already been hit by James Harrison once this game. Now the pressure is going to come off the right. The offense will do a great job sliding with the running back. The center does a nice job recovering, picking up the blitz, but James Harrison drops into his curl to flat zone and swats down the pass. So as you can see here at the snap, the pressure comes right. It gets picked up, but Smith knows and senses it. He moves left, throws. James Harrison drops off into that curl to flat zone and knocks the ball down. That's the great thing about the 3-4. You have that extra rusher who you can move around and blitz from any angle. Now let's take a look at the sting pinch here with the San Francisco 49ers. This is a man and zone blitz. Here we're going to show you the man-to-man -man version. And with very little setup, this blitz is going to bring pressure all day against the offense. Now it is a risky blitz. Here we have a safety matched up against the speedy Mike Wallace. He gets open, but the blitz gets there just in time. And Patrick Willis picks it up and goes the distance. 
Now this is too risky of a blitz to call all the time. We saw Mike Wallace get open over the middle of the field. Here we're going to drop Patrick Willis into that area. He plays back, uses that awareness, cuts off the throw to the tight end over the middle and gets the interception. The more pressure you can bring early, then when you do drop back a defender, you're able to get some quick throws from the offense that can be intercepted. For more of a base style play we can call all the time, the two man under is a good option. What we want to do here is we can simply blitz some guys off the edge and then we can just watch the halfback with our zone over the middle of the field. We can use those global blitz commands from earlier and bring pressure. Here we drop guys back. Roethlisberger is looking to throw over the middle of the field. Willis gets another interception. There's so many things you can do with the 3-4 defense once you learn how to make those quick adjustments, guys. I'd love to hear your favorite play and whether or not you like the 3-4 or a 4-3 or 4-6 base defense. This is Z Farrells from PrimaMadden.com. If you have any questions, This Week in Madden is a live Madden tip show that airs every Wednesday night at 8.30 at PrimaMadden.com. Free tips all the way through the Super Bowl, guys. We'll see you in the lab.